In this video, let's combine 3D with particles and try to create a moon orbiting Earth and we add stars using the particles. So let's start by adding a texture of Earth and moon like this. So let's bring this one here and change its name to moon. Let's bring this one and change it to Earth. Okay, now let's add the shape 3D. So shape 3D and connect the moon to the shape 3D. And let's do the same thing for Earth. Click on Add. Let's display this one here and this one here. Now let's change the shape to Sphere. So select Sphere, same thing here, and select Sphere. Now let's go to Earth, go to the top view, and you can see that the texture isn't covering the whole sphere. So go back to Earth, add the Transform node and this will increase the size of the texture let's arrange tools first this will increase the size of the texture and it will hide this gap so go to size if you click control you can uh, increase the size by small degrees like this okay this is too much and this looks good now we want the moon to orbit the earth let's Merge them with the 3D Merge and bring the 3D Merge here. Let's change the view to Perspective. And this one to Top. Let's bring the Merge one here too. So we can't see the Moon here because if you click on the shape, you can see that the Moon has the same size as Earth. So it's hidden inside Earth. But if we click on Shape 3D and bring it here, we can see the Moon here. Now let's decrease its size because the moon is smaller than earth and starts animating so shift space add in transform 3d go to shape go to radius and decrease it to 0 0.5 so like this and now let's go to transform you can see that the pivot point of the transform is in the middle of the earth so when we rotate it the moon will rotate around earth if you want to change the pivot point simply click here and you can change the pivot point now let's go to the first frame right click on Y pivot uh, sorry on Y rotation and click animate let's go to the end and go 360 degree now if we play this you can see the moon is rotating now let's rotate earth too so go to shape 3d and go to rotation go to the first frame animate and go to the last and let's rotate it 360 degree too so the earth is rotating and the moon is rotating around the earth too now let's add in some stars so shift space type in p emitter to add particles and p renderer to render them connect your p renderer to the merge 3d like this and you can see let's bring it here and change this to perspective you can see that we have a sphere let's change it to a cube so region cube and let's increase the size of the cube like this you can see that the cube is still smaller than earth but we need it to cover both earth and the moon so let's change the size to maybe 10 by 10 by 10 okay let's go to top view and you can see here that the particles are or the earth and moon are inside the cube of particles so these particles will represent the stars now let's add the 3d camera shift space camera and connect your camera here and let's add a renderer 3d so renderer 3d connect your merge to the renderer and let's bring the renderer here now let's go to camera and let's bring it back like this maybe change the angle of view let's go to uh, left sorry to uh, the left view and this looks good now we want to change the view of this camera so let's bring it to the top and click here to change the rotation so the camera is seen from top angle now in order to uh, add the uh, space let's add the black background to the renderer so connect your renderer to the black background 
and bring the merge here and here you can see space now let's maybe let's bring the camera inside the the cube like this and increase the angle even more and let's now go to the particles let's change their uh, their uh, style to maybe uh, and gone and you can see that we have stars now you can change the size of the stars if you want let's make it look like this okay this looks good now let's go to the coral and change the color to maybe yellow okay this looks good and let's change the size too because like the stars looks too big let's change it to 0 0.05 and this looks good now if we play this okay let's go to the p emitter and change some settings so let's go to the first tab and change the number of particles to 100 and let's change the lifespan to one so that means every one frame 100 particles will appear and 100 particles will die so basically every one frame every one frame we have 100 particles so they won't add up to each other now if we play this you can see that we have a moon orbiting earth and we have particles that represent the stars you can see that we didn't add the light because I don't want to but if you want to add the light you can go ahead and shift space type in light and maybe add a spotlight if you want connect your spotlight to the merge and let's bring the spotlight to the same angle of the camera like this change the direction go to the renderer and enable the lighting and shadows and let's go to the spotlight let's increase the cone angle and you can see that we're seeing both earth and the moon being lit so this is how you create uh, some sort of space simulation using a fusion and this is how you use the shape 3d nodes how you use the camera and how you use the 3d particles i will see you in the next video